I'm joined today by such an amazing woman who's been blessed with such a beautiful son named Sai. You're going to get to meet him at the end of today's show. Now, Sai was born with a very rare developmental disorder. Dottie will be telling us a little bit more about it this morning. But the main thing that we're going to focus on is that Dottie has spent a lot of time lately raising funds for children and young adults in Monroe County with a disability to attend Camp Challenge. Now you actually have the opportunity to help support this amazing, life-changing summer camp. Dottie, it's a pleasure having you here with me today. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I know that you're very busy right now because, as I mentioned, you're raising funds for Camp Challenge. But before we get into Camp Challenge, I want to talk with you about your son, Sai, who is so incredible, Dottie. He's, he has so much energy, I can already tell. Yeah, he's the man. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Everybody knows him as the man. Um, yeah, he was born with a very, like you said, a very rare uh, genetic condition called Unique 7Q11 to 7Q21, also known as Williams Plus. Uh, he was born having seizures, um, CP, mentally challenged but with the most amazing music abilities and most amazing personality, puts a smile on everyone's face. He does. He, yes, does, he does do that. <laughs> um, this um, opportunity that you gave me, um, actually the community, I really appreciate because the, this year it's been a very short time span for me to be able to raise the money. So I'm hoping I can have a challenge out there for those in the community, if, even if it's just $5 they spend or up to 20 whatever the challenge, it really would help. Individual, it's $1,800 per camper to go to camp. And since 1999, I've been trying to, um, along with the, it's really not me doing the fundraising, it's the businesses, individuals, um, in the community that all that actually does the fundraising because without their no nations these young adults that are mark clients would not be able to go to this camp mm -hmm. and there is no camps available for special needs in monroe county mm -hmm. daddy can you describe for us this morning the things that your son and other young adults get to do during camp challenge oh tell you what where to start <laughs> They have, um, this year they're going to be doing uh, adapted water skiing. They have um, zip line courses and they'll take like someone who's wheelchair bound and they have a certain adaptive equipment that they put them in and they can do zip linings and you ought to see their faces when they do it. Mm -hmm. They have food fights, which is amazing, where they'll save a few days worth of food and they uh, empty the dining halls out and the, um, they'll actually do food fights mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a lot of them have to take the wheelchairs out and they have to hose everybody down just the way they are <laughs> trust me they love the food fights mm -hmm. they have a big dance where they have ding their dates and mm -hmm. um and they'll have um the fire department gets involved they'll have the police department bring them with their special uh, dogs and they teach them and help train them um, they have scavenger hunts which is totally amazing buddy they're extremely competitive they have the campfires. Um, I'm not going to tell you a whole lot more. <laughs> I'm going to let Cy tell you a little bit about that. Okay. But I can tell you why it's the bonding and the friendship. Mm -hmm. Some of these are limited as far as um, some of them are homebound. Some of them are, you know, restricted as far as friendships goes. And their source communications only occur with these bonding, these friendships, only when they see Camp Challenge. So sometimes they wait all year to see their friends at camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and again, I mentioned to you earlier that um, raising older children, my house is full of, you know, people coming and knocking on the door, kids hanging out, eating my refrigerator, food out of my refrigerator, you know, uh, spending the night. Now with special needs children and young adults, we have the problem of association. Mm -hmm. We, you know, Camp Challenge knocks on our doors and invites our young adults and children to camp to do what typical children would do. Yeah. Dottie, what also I'm, I'm so impressed with is that this is something that you've been raising funds for since 1999. Well, again, um, it's really not me raising the funds. It's the community, individuals in the community that really provides the funding. I'm just a messenger. So, um, and it, what happened in 1999 when I started working for Easter Sales, the local Easter Sales, um, I became aware of the camp. And I found out the funding just wasn't available. 
and there was no summer camps, and I was also looking for something for my own son. And then when I found out about the camp and went and visited, I was so impressed with it that um, I realized it was a very important need for everyone who wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So just started doing the campaigning for it. Mm -hmm. And so since 1999, everyone in the county who wanted to go, whether they could afford or not afford it, they've been able to go free because of the, you know, the sponsorship from the local community. And mm -hmm. if it wasn't for them, then these children could not go, or these young adults. So I really appreciate what they've done for us. Absolutely. Well, it's a life-changing week, and we're going to take a quick break right now. But when we return from these messages, we'll be speaking with Dottie's son, Cy, about some camp summer challenge. Stay with us.